Hey everybody, uh, it's this video. We're going to be talking about storage locker locks. Um, these are the round uh, disc locks that you find uh, a lot of times on storage units or uh, like, you know, the back of trucks or uh, like convenience stores that have the shutters that roll down. You'll see these kind of locks on it. Uh, this is from a few vid videos ago and I'll link it up in the corner. Um, I cut this off of a storage unit and then I was able to actually pick it on video. And in one of the comments, a gentleman named Gary down in Australia mentioned that he wanted to see one of these uh, kind of in action uh, from the inside. So I happen to have two of these C970s without keys. Uh, this one's been picked. Uh, the other one did a little bit of surgery on it. Um, went ahead and uh, used a drill press and cut the uh, front of it off. And then uh, we're left with uh, this. And uh, this piece here, I'm not going to take the key out because it's kind of a pain to keep it all together. Um, this normally would be over it, and it's riveted on, and it just holds all the insides from being able to move, you know, like up and down it, so it can't uh, all come apart. And um, so I took that out and went ahead and took the cylinder out and uh, made a key to it. It's actually an Abus keyway, believe it or not. And uh, so the way these work is you know, when the key is turned, you know, it simply slides the shackle, you know, in and out of the opening. Zoom out of here here. Okay, and how that's actually accomplished is uh, our shackle here has a notch here, and this has a stop right here that actually fits into there and just catches it so the shackle can't move. It's this piece right here. And then it has a tail piece back here that um, when this is disengaged, this actually fits into this bigger notch right here on the shackle to actually just drag the shackle out of the way and then drag it back closed in the way to lock it on something. So that's uh, how it works. And uh, just demonstrating that when I start to turn the key, um, then you're going to see this is this piece here is going to push on this. And this is this is spring loaded and it's going to just uh, get out of the way here. And then this piece back here will uh, be able to just drag the shackle this direction, which is going to clear the opening. So when you're picking it or using a key, this is uh, this is what actually happens. And this thing functions much better with that other plate on there because it keeps everything in place. But you want to be keeping an eye right here. It's pushing on this, and then this is going to move out of the way. Get it. Uh... There we go. All right. So it's. Okay, see how that's uh, out of the way there? Now it just kind of drags on it, and then it allows the shackle to be opened and moved out of the way. And normally the whole cylinder, of course, doesn't turn, just the tailpiece does, but uh, this works for our demonstration purposes here. And you see this piece back there is actually engaged in that, that groove on the shackle. And let's it you know, open and close. And then we see when I turn it again here how this piece here is pushing on this, which uh, moves that out of the way. And this thing, of course, works uh, much, much better with that other piece on there, but. Shackle needs to go for that way. There we go. Okay, so it just pushes on it, gets that spring loaded guy out of the way. And it can slide her open. And then we close it back. You know, it's our tailpiece here. It's just dragging the shackle back closed until our locking paw here just drops back in place. Like so. And now we're back. Uh, locked again. So that's basically uh, how these storage lock, locker locks uh, function. And uh, hopefully that's interesting. If you guys have any questions or comments, uh, drop them in the uh, description there. And uh, yeah, help out too if you uh, subscribe and like and share and all that fun stuff. And uh, so that's going to uh, do it for this video then. And we will uh, talk to everybody later.